Beyond Wrestling. This is Denver, Colorado. The man, not the place, presenting to you a match today that you probably should be paying for, but I'm not gonna lay on the guilt trip too thick because, well, in reality, this is what Beyond Wrestling is all about. It's about putting two of the very best technical wrestlers in the world in the same ring at the same time, and that's what we have here today, a first-time encounter between Jonathan Gresham and Biff Busick. Now, we have not seen Jonathan Gresham competing in a Beyond Wrestling ring for almost two years, and in that time, he has traveled the world, literally traveling the world wrestling, all over Europe, all over Asia, parts of the world that I didn't even know they had wrestling, honing his craft, improving his skill set, and now for the first time ever, he's sharing a ring with Biff Busick, who really came to prominence after that match with Taka Suzuki at the Burst the Bubble studio taping. Of course, the Biff Music has been tearing it up all across the independent wrestling scene over the last year. Although he does consider Beyond Wrestling his home. You've got to wonder, as much exposure as Biff Music has gotten stateside in the last year, not sure the same could be said for Jonathan Gresham. Again, a very different Jonathan Gresham than what we saw when he was competing against the likes of Zane Silver. Johnny Mangway, yes, even the coward Mark Angel. So I'm not sure how effective Biff Busick was scouting Jonathan Gresham coming into this match. There we see using his natural ability, his size and his strength to his advantage. Kicking out the leg from underneath Gresham so that he could not maintain that bridge. And Gresham being forced to rise to his feet, he was in danger of having his shoulders pinned to the mat in that exchange. Will we see a clean break? Biff, going for a hip toss. Gresham had a counter, again using his strength to his advantage. Looking to rebound off the ropes to build momentum. And Gresham just one step behind right there. But take a look at that. Gresham is a very compact, very strong individual. And using his speed and his guile to his advantage. Trying to pull the wool over the eyes of one Biff Busick. Jonathan Gresham, a graduate of the WWA 4 Wrestling School down in Atlanta, Georgia. Alongside the likes of AR Fox and UHA Nation. who will also be competing at today's taping here at the CZW Wrestling Academy. Of course, it was Jonathan Gresham who really came to prominence by competing for Combat Zone Wrestling. So a bit of a homecoming here for Gresham as Biff Busick does his best to keep Gresham grounded so that he cannot utilize any of that explosive offense. Gresham is a very cerebral competitor. Knows where he is in the ring at all times. And the amount of technique that he has displayed, even just so far in this match, the way that he was able to shift his body's weight to escape that headlock, you don't see many competitors who are as smart in the ring as Jonathan Gresham. But don't sell old Biff Busick short, a graduate of Brian Fury's New England Pro Wrestling Academy, moved up to Canada, trained with Lance Storm, then down to Texas to complete his training with Funaki. What do you say? No, no, no. Biff Busick, a very, very smart competitor in his own right. And now we see him going for some signature offense with the figure four around the head of Jonathan Gresham. A rudimentary head scissors. Again, those legs so powerful. And Gresham having to use his neck strength to try and push his opponent flat on the mat. But Busick, rather than being forced to break the hold, has enough strength to be able to kick out of that pinning predicament and maintain the hold. Consistently doing damage to the neck of Jonathan Gresham. Gresham really struggling to get over the ropes. Instead, rolling Busick over. And look while Busick was trying to bring him over to another angle, inadvertently brought him closer to the ropes. A clean break, Busick breaking the hold. Certainly not looking to get disqualified. As this may be one of the biggest matches of his entire career. We've seen him compete against the likes of Drew Gulak. A.R. Fox and Chuck Taylor here in Beyond Wrestling. All three of those world travel competitors. But I think perhaps the advantage that 
Biff Busick may have in this match, believe it or not, is that while Jonathan Gresham is making Biff wrestle Gresham's type of match, I really think that this is where Biff Busick excels. He's got his legs tied up, looking for an escape. Trying to get one of his arms around the neck of Jonathan Gresham to do more damage. Gresham still trying to hold on. And look at that, Gresham now holding Biff Busick's foot in place as he uses both of his free arms to ward off the attack from Biff Busick so that he can put himself in a point of even more damage. I can't even believe it, Gresham is so good. And seamlessly transitioning into this bow and arrow, but Biff Busick able to spin out right into that lateral press. It's good to have Gresham back. I really like Jonathan Gresham. Such an underrated, underutilized talent. If all you've ever seen of Jonathan Gresham is his run as Huracan in Jakar, man, are you missing out. Jonathan Gresham in danger right now, trying to find an escape from this wrist lock. Still at that vertical base. As Biff continues to apply pressure to all those small bones in the wrist, such a delicate part of the body. And as Gresham was looking for an escape, Biff able to maintain control of that wrist. You know, from this position, I don't think that Biff is going to be able to get Gresham to submit. But it's certainly an advantageous position nevertheless. He's going to be careful here, though. Gresham wrapping his powerful legs around the longer legs of Biff Busick. And almost with a sense of urgency, Busick bringing Gresham down to the mat. Gresham once again trying to reverse the position, bridging out. And the momentary distraction enough to slap away the hand of Biff Busick. Incredible execution on that drop kick. I think it bears repeating. Jonathan Gresham is really good. You know what I gotta say that I like the most about this match so far? Neither of these competitors are rushing into a situation where they're gonna make a huge mistake. We've seen a couple mistakes so far, but not the type which turns the tide of this match into the favor of one competitor or the other. Again, going hold for hold, Gresham was looking to transition into another maneuver. I cannot even believe this right here. Biff is trying to hold him down with that side headlock, and Gresham keeps cradling him over him to the pin. Back and forth they go. Oh, even with the hands clasped. And finally, both of these guys giving up on the hold. Where we had near fall after near fall. Good old man, close to 20 pin attempts in less than a minute. And now I think Biff Music's starting to get a little bit upset. But again, he cannot afford to make a mistake that's going to turn the tide of the favor in this match to Jonathan Gresham. Because that's really all that Biff needs to do is make one mistake. Of course, as good as Gresham is on the mat, gonna give this kid credit. He's such a good striker, too. But the execution of that knife edge chop from Biff Busick. It's gonna be driving the wind out of the lungs of Jonathan Gresham. Gresham fighting back with a strike of his own. Oh, but got caught with that lifter. The signature European uppercut from Biff Busick. And again, caught him right underneath the chin. I think that Gresham is better suited to get his opponent flat on his back on the mat. And that's what he did right there. Pulled him down with that backslide, but as both competitors get back up to their feet, it's Biff lighting up the chest. A Jonathan Gresham. Gresham responding with a forearm. Biff's not giving up on these chops. And Gresham trying to one-up him. Once again, blocking that European uppercut. Responds with a forearm. And again! And now the rolling forearm! You're gonna think that if Biff wasn't that close to the corner, he would have been knocked out. And now Gresham starting to get in the face of the official. He's gonna be careful here. Busa came charging in, able to duck underneath. Going for that signature half and half suplex. Able to counter the counter with a pin. But Gresham's gonna counter. And now Biff's gonna counter. Oh, and now Gresham going to that submission hole. Targeting the ankle of Biff Busick. Biff's got the longer limbs. 
and the upper body strength to try and pull himself to the ropes. Another thing working to his favor is that Gresham has not targeted the leg in quite some time in this match, probably not for the last eight minutes or so. And even then, I don't think he did serious damage. Not to undermine the danger of being in an ankle lock. Oh my God! Gresham folding himself up. It's gonna be one of the best bridges in the entire world. Gresham is so strong, especially for somebody his size. Incredible flexibility, holding Busick down as hard as he could with that pin. Give Busick credit, he's still kicked out. That German suplex did a lot to damage Biff Busick, perhaps kicking out on instinct alone. And I think Gresham might be better served to keep his opponent on the mat. We've got Gresham urging the official to check the status of Biff Busick to see if he's still able to compete. Busick saying that he wants to continue. Gresham, you gotta be careful, man. Don't put your hands on the ref. Oh, but this was just a trap set by Biff Busick, playing possum right there. So that he can continue to fire away with these chops to the chest. Of course, the harder it is to breathe, the harder it is to wrestle. A little bit of misdirection here from Jonathan Gresham, trying to pull Busick down to the mat with another pinning combination. Biff put on the brakes. Oh, Gresham ran right into that boot. Great extension on the kick from Biff Busick. Now looking to connect with another one. No, I lied. Two with that blockbuster. Gresham struggling to get to the ropes. Can't do it. One, two. Oh. The blockbuster, one of the most deadly moves in Biff Busick's arsenal. And that was not enough to put Jonathan Gresham away. You're gonna think he's gonna be able to get that half and half suplex again. Instead, going for a power bomb. We've seen him use those repeated power bombs against opponents like A.R. Fox and Greenhead. Jonathan Gresham putting on the brakes. Could knock it out of the way. The potential knockout blows. He crumples into a heap of himself. But Busick here has tunnel vision. He is dead set on hitting this power bomb. Gresham able to slip out. The Hurricane Rana snapping it off, flowing right over. Rose Busick in a position. Oh, God. I think he just broke his arm. How oh, is Busick holding on right here? Now a German suplex of his own, but he can't hold on. Oh, and Gresham going right to that arm bar. That's the arm that he just kicked out right from underneath Biff Busick. Busick really struggling right here, but Gresham making sure to wrap his leg around the head. And Biff Busick knowing that he has to tap out before Jonathan Gresham breaks his arm. What an unbelievable match. What an unbelievable match. Jonathan Gresham with an emphatic return to Beyond Wrestling and the United States. But these two went back and forth. It could have gone either way. Almost a dozen times in this match. The Gresham is back home. And Busick's got nothing to be ashamed of. 